Hey guys, um, yeah, I am alive, I didn't die, um, and I'd just like to start off by apologizing for not putting up a review last week, um, I got swamped with schoolwork and didn't watch the movie and then forgot about the review, high school sucks, I'm pretty sure most of you guys have been there, so you probably know what it's like, so, and I didn't really want to, I don't know, I didn't continue a Scorsese week because I just think it would fuck things up and this is like week 21 or something now so I'm just gonna review a film and this week I'm reviewing Fast and the Furious Tokyo Drift um, directed by Justin Lin starring Lucas Black oh shit Lucas Black, Bow Wow, Sung Kang and some other chick so after the disaster that was Too Fast, Too Furious, they need to come back. If they wanted to make a, another movie, they need something more original. And, you know, this film doesn't focus on any characters that were in the first two films. And, you no, know, they got a new setting. And basically, the way this starts off is this kid named Sean. Uh, he gets in trouble in his hometown for racing, so it's like the third time he gets in trouble or something. So his mother ships him off in Tokyo to live with his father, and you know he basically gets into some street racing stuff down there. Only it's not the kind of racing he's used to. It's like the drifting, like the old something like that. And you know I thought this was way way better than Too Fast Too Furious because that movie was just fucking awful and this one this is really a fresh and original take on the racing scene in a movie worthy of the name Fast and Furious and you know I'd have to say in this film Sung Kang who played Han would be my favorite character he's just he's awesome really cool headed um, and he's also in the new Fast and Furious movie, which is prequel to this one. It shows how he knows Vin Diesel's character, because at the end of this, Vin Diesel makes a cameo appearance, which is pretty cool. And, you know, it kind of leaves you wanting more, but I, as far as I know, Actually, I'm pretty sure Justin Lin directed the new one as well. I just saw that last night. And I think he has plans. I think he has plans for a fifth and sixth movie, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if they'd take place in Tokyo or what would go on, but I, I'd i watch it. You know, the series of movies, they aren't the greatest things ever made, but they are fun to watch, and especially if you like cars and all that. But... You know, I say give it a watch. Um, I'm going to give this a 7 out of 10. Uh, it's just really creative. and Except for something I have a complaint about is his mother ships him off to Tokyo to live with his father, right? Okay, you get that. He doesn't speak the language. How can he go to school if he doesn't speak the language? Then all of a sudden later in the film he just fucking knows Japanese and fucking talking perfect little goof on their part, I suppose, but I'm saying give it a watch. I'll see you guys next week with I don't know what we're doing next week. I don't even know what I'm doing five minutes from now, so I'll see you all next week. Goodbye. See you bye. I'll see you.